Thanks, John. It, uh, the shelter in a time of storm. That's a uh, perfect opening for this devotional. Um, there's a gentleman that comes in to where I work. He shops and talks to me, mostly, mostly to talk, I think. He's a Vietnam vet. Uh, he's seen some horrible things. He's, we've known each other for a few years now. He's told me a lot of things. When we get in this discussion quite often, he's, he, doesn't, um, he says to me, why can't people stop fighting? We should send all of our leaders to war and everybody else stay back. Just make the people that have a problem with it go to have, you know, have war. Why do we? And he has seen things that I'll never experience. But he doesn't understand why we can't all just get along. Why, why do we have to keep killing each other? You know, and uh, I usually say to him that... Um, We don't have to, but it's not possible, at least not by ourselves anyway. And he doesn't understand why people just won't help each other, why people can't just be even and equal, why there's got to be people that have control over other people and power. And I said, well, you know, it, uh, as long as there's sin in the world, that's what sin's all about. And we can't escape the sin, at least not here on earth. He's still struggling with this, and I hope he keeps coming back. Um, and what got me started on this was uh, tragedy in Las Vegas. Um, it really, really kind of hit home with me again. Then there's been a lot of personal things here in this congregation, a lot of, of loved ones passing on. But what I'm talking about here, when something happens that's so tragic and so unbelievably, well, evil, we ask ourselves, why? Some people, you know, you listen to the news, some people want to blame the guns, some people want to blame what this person was thinking when he did this or you know a number of things that would contribute they think or to this evil act but does everybody really recognize the face of evil in this the sins in the world we're powerless over it ourselves I think you know where I'm leading with this, but this morning I was listening to the radio and there was uh, a man whose daughter was shot twice at, in Las Vegas. She's recovering. Um, and the uh, reporter asked him, do you support gun control? He says, no, I don't. I carry one myself. It's not the guns that kill. It's the people behind it. And the reporter asked, well, why? And he said, because we've become a godless nation. Because we've become a godless nation. Now, not all of us are godless, but he recognized the face of evil, I think. That without God, without the, the, the forgiveness of our sins through our Savior Jesus, all we have left is evil. We're powerless against that by ourselves. And what my friend was describing, I think to me, sounds like what heaven would be like without sin. But folks, as long as we're here, if we really want to save the world from evil, if we really want to make a difference, make an impact, so these tragic things may have, may occur less, we have a mission. Let me read to you from uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter, chapter 3. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored as happening among you, and that we may be delivered from the wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful, 
He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And we will have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. And may the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Folks, brethren, if we spread our faith and we live our faith, evil doesn't have any defense against it. If there's anybody here that has not been saved, that has not washed, been washed for the, by the blood of Jesus for the forgiveness of their sins, or if they need to be encouraged, as we sing tonight, please come down. When we walk with you.